Come with me to explore Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios in Hollywood, California. I was honored when Universal Studios invited me to explore Nintendo World before its official opening date, so let's go on this adventure together. These are the power bands for the park that lets you play mini games around the park, and of course we hate our badges since the park's not really open yet. I really wanted a Daisy themed power up band because, surprise, she's my favorite Mario character, but Peach is still awesome, so I'm content with another princess. I'm clearly struggling a little bit. It's alright. And we got it! <laughs> Super Nintendo World's in the back, so we go down all the stairs to get there. But once we do, it was so worth it. I felt like a little kid in a candy store. I just could not contain my excitement. I mean, seriously, look at this place. As soon as you walk in, you feel like you're in a Mario game. Everything is so realistic and life-size. I just couldn't believe this was real. The Universal Studios app now has a Nintendo World section where you can track your power-up stamps, coins, and keys you collect with your power-up band while you're at the park. To collect stamps and power-ups, you search for these little M symbols on the wall and present icons, and you can later use these to defeat Bowser Jr. I was a little confused at first on how to collect coins. I really thought you just pushed the power-up button to these little M icons under the blocks, and when that didn't work, I really thought the blocks were just there for show and to look cute, but nope! Just like Mario really has to work for these coins and punch the blocks, you do too! And once I figured that out, I couldn't contain my happiness. I really felt like I was in the video game and I was having the time of my life. This experience was so cool and it just made me want to collect all the coins that I possibly could. After getting all the coins inside, it was time to venture outside. I mean, how else are we going to defeat Bowser Jr.? And that's really what all this is for. We collect all these items to help us defeat him in a mini game at the end of our day. Amidst my coin collecting, I saw her and had to pause my arsenal building. Princess Peach. Oh, she was lovely. I was really sad they didn't have Daisy running around. Again, we know she's my favorite, but being in the presence of THE Princess Peach was truly special. Something I wasn't prepared for was her talking. She had so many things to say, it was so cool. Definitely pleasantly surprised, but back to gearing up. In order to get to Bowser Jr., I have to play mini games around the park to earn a few keys, and this is one of them. See that key up in the doorway? In order to earn it, we have to stop the Goomba from stealing it, so we basically have to roll the floor out from under him and make him fall. It was a real workout, but it paid off because... I got a key! And now... Onward. One down, a few more to go. This next mini game was a little bit more difficult. All of these alarm clocks are waking up the piranha plant, so we want to turn them off so he doesn't gobble us up. The problem is there's a lot of clocks, so doing it by yourself is really hard. Luckily, this guy behind me in line said he would do the game with me, and yay, we won! Well done. Yeah! We got a key. We got a key! some of my friends and I literally said hey friends come wave and they knew the drill and some of them said hey Mario Kart looks like a four person thing let's go do it. As we walked in we saw one of the lines said VIP guests only and we asked if we could go in and the guy said we wouldn't be able to see the other cool decorations that way so we decided not to worry about the VIP line and I'm glad because this was so cool. We ended up realizing that this longer way went to the same exact spot the VIP line went anyway, so I'm glad we got to see the other rooms. Bowser! Ah! <laughs> Overall, the details that went into this Mario Kart ride were incredible. As someone who grew up with Nintendo and Mario games, especially Mario Kart, I mean, I've been playing that since the Nintendo DS when I was itty bitty. This was truly a dream come true, and I'm so thankful Universal Studios was able to feed my nostalgia and appease the little kid in my soul. Now this is how the game works. There will be four people in a car, and our job is to get a hold of shells and blast them at other people. Every time we hit someone, we get a gold coin, and the goal is for everyone in the cart to each get a hundred gold coins. Now these are the helmets that we have to wear for the 3D goggles and... Oh no, it's kind of big. I got a small head. How do I, how do I fix this? Avery, help me. <laughs> Come on, Avery. Come on, Avery. Oh, here we go! <laughs> so this is what you 
see on the ride without the cool glasses. You can see the background of the game, but you can't see what we the players are doing. So the cool glasses fit into the Mario helmet we're given, and Avery decided not to play specifically so you guys could try to see through the glasses and get a glimpse of what the rest of us were seeing through our goggles. As you can kind of see, each time our cart catches an item cube, we're given a number of shells, each of us with a different color so we can see who's hitting where, and we each have to use our shells wisely. We aim where we're shooting with our goggles, so when we hit a button, a shell, in my case pink shells, go wherever I'm looking, and if I hit a person or a target object, then I would get coins, and again, the goal is for each of us to get at least 100 coins. That's how we win the game. Now, to be honest, I don't know if we automatically lose if we don't each get 100 coins, or if the game is rigged, because let's be honest, how else would Bowser win? But we had a lot of fun regardless. Now I wasn't wearing my glasses, so I really thought. But I won! I won in our friend group! Woo! Pink power! Yeah, without my glasses, I thought Charles score was 101, not 107, and he was just too nice to tell me. That's embarrassing. But I beat Avery, and that's what matters. Avery, how does it feel to be a loser? <laughs> The gift shop had the coolest stuff, and if they had more Daisy merch, I probably would have gotten some, especially if they had Daisy ears like they did Mario and Luigi, but maybe next time. For now, we were hungry, so it was time to head to the Toadstool Cafe, and on the way, we found more opportunities for coins and oh, fireworks to beat Bowser Jr. Oh, we could have turned, turned into a squirrel. I don't want to be a squirrel. Get the small one this time. Oh, you've already done it. You don't oh. get it again. Oh, I got another one! Oh, okay. Ah! Extra yeah. life. But before we take on Bowser Jr., I need food! I'm not sure if Universal had this in general, or if this was because this is a content creator event, but they had a whole room that laid out all the food items for everyone to see, take pictures and video of. Everything looked so good! I ended up getting a burger and a block tiramisu with a superstar lemonade, Avery got the pesto chicken sandwich and the bean pole Neapolitan cake, and someone else at our table got garlic knots for everyone and let us try the peach cupcake, so we tried a good bit of the food menu. Now let me tell you, some of those salads looked so good, especially Yoshi's fruit and veggie salad, but because I was so hungry, I just felt like I needed a little bit more food that day, but I'll make sure to try it next time. We were all pretty happy with our food choices and we were having the best time visiting with each other up until... They're closing the park early? We might have spent too much time at Toad's and we're not going to be able to fight Bowser today because your girl talks too much. But it's okay because next time, okay Bowser, like you got off easy this time, but ne next time, like be ready because your girl's coming. <laughs> the park had to close a little early due to a slight emergency, totally understandable, and all that means is I have an excuse to come back and finish what I started. Thanks Universal, can't wait for next time.